this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and I just wanted to pop in and show you a basic print and cut with the Caesar Juliet and using the Leonardo Design Studio. So I'm going to show you how to just set up a basic print. I have a couple tips for you first. So your first tip, and I have these written down so I don't forget them, test cut your materials. So whatever material you are using, test cut it before you set it up as a print and cut. Um, you can do a test cut on the print and cut, but it's just gonna be easier for you if you already dial in your settings for your blade. Um, I'll throw the link up for the blade depth setting in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna be notified of more content as well. But I have a couple videos on the setup. So I really recommend that you get your blade set up for the material that you're going to be print and cutting first before you even start the setup for the actual print and cut. The second is use cardstock or copy paper, something that's less expensive than a more expensive material like Easy Color DTV or sticker papers. Start your basic print and cut, get used to how Juliet works, do your test cuts first before you use that more expensive material and you have an issue. You can always identify the issues on less, or less expensive materials such as cardstock or copy paper before you get into that more expensive material that's costing you a little bit more money. The third one is to practice. And that comes combines both one and two. In the test cuts and start with a basic print and cut just play around just choose an image use it on a material such as cardstock or copy paper to save you money practice with that the fourth tip is if you do use cardstock or copy paper make sure you do your test cuts on the actual material that you're going to be cutting say dtv or sticker paper after you've done your practice run because you may need to set that blade depth again differently or swap out your blade housings if you have different blade housings that are set for different materials. That's my plan. I plan to have extra housings that one is set for cardstock, one is set for vinyl, um, whatever materials. Some people, they won't even have need, the need to have separate blade housings because they only cut one material or possibly two, like vinyl and heat transfer vinyl. But my plan, I cut all kinds of different materials. So I plan to have different blade housings that are for each material to swap out. Test cut again on that material if you have to change the blade depth. Now let's get started. We're gonna jump over into the Leonardo Design Studio and we're gonna take a look at how to set up a print and cut. Again, a basic print and cut. Test it, test it, test it. There's gonna be all kinds of things, but I do really like this new feature that Leonardo Design Studio has for us in the tracing features. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to be working with a file from Design Bundles that I purchased today. I'm just going to go out here and show you which file I pulled in. So I'm going to use this Sarcastic Sticker Bundle. I thought it was fun. Um, this is a bundle where all of the stickers are a separate file, and it's also a bundle where these stickers have a white edge around them. So that just something to know, you're gonna encounter all kinds of different files when you go to do your own print and cut. Some are gonna have a white border, some are not, some are gonna be a sticker sheet. So it's there's so many different options that you can do with print and cut. So this is the file, I'll throw a link up in the description below as well, but I wanted to share that. So since they are separate files, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open that file. So I'm going to go to file and import and then I'm going to find that file. So I have mine under my design bundles folder and then I'm going to, we're going to kind of fill this page, but I'm going to choose a few here and we can work with this. Since they are individual files, I will have to import them separately. If you had a sticker sheet that was all on one sheet as the designer created it, then you would open up that file um, as one. So I'm just going to pick a few of these. Um, let's choose boss isn't a title it's a state of mind 
and I'm just randomly choosing them. So you're going to get a couple windows. It's going to, it's called the Create Cut Contours. And this is how Leonardo Design Studio traces the PNG files when they come in. There's a lot of different options here. I'm not going to go into those options because this is a basic print and cut, just getting the print and cut set up on your page and send it to cut. But you have some different options here and you're going to see that there's different options on each page. So I'm going to choose next. It's going to trace that and you can see that blue line around the edge. I'm good with that. This sticker does have a white border on it. I'm going to choose next and it gives me that contour offset. I can change it to be larger if I wanted to. Again, I'm just gonna go with the, what it shows. When I pull that PNG file in, it is going to place those registration marks that Leonardo Design Studio uses, and it's gonna place them around my object. Now, this is the really cool part, one of the cool parts, there's a lot here. Um, these adjust, as I move my image. So I can make a just a page with one print and cut if I want to. And I'm gonna move this down here. If I get it too close to the edges that's outside of my printer border, you're gonna see red registration marks. That's a clue that it's not proper. I'm gonna go back up here to file, import file, and I'm gonna choose another one. And we're gonna go through the same steps. So each time I can choose how I want this file to import. I'm gonna just choose next, 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 and I'm finished and I can resize that how I'd like. Now, if I move these around, you can see those registration marks are going to adjust. Now, I could print just these two if I wanted to and just use that bottom section of the paper. Or I'm going to come over here to my artboard, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a full page. So if I choose page marks, that's going to move those registration marks all the way out to my maximum uh, printer margins on this page for what I have set up as my paper. Now I'm using US letter. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to arrange these, and I can resize these as I go. So I'm going to Add a few more in here so that we can print on a full page. And I'm gonna resize it, adjust it. We're gonna, we'll set one down here close to that registration mark. We'll do some testing here. So I am just gonna be printing on cardstock to test this. So I'm just choosing at random next next weird is a side effect of being awesome and i'm gonna move these around here file import this one says why overthink when you can over drink i just tried to pick a funny sticker bundle to use as my example and one more, let's just choose. I can keep my mouth shut, but you can read the subtitles on my face. Okay, here we go, one more. We'll resize that and place it. And then in my version of the software, I am a beta tester, so I have a beta version that is currently being shown here, um, but it should be similar in the public releases as well. So I'm gonna click off of my design. So nothing is selected. And I'm going to make sure that my paper size is correct. And if I choose this little printer icon, I can come over here and my printer, I like to use cardstock through the rear tray. It comes through better. So I'm going to choose rear tray and I'm gonna choose okay. And then I'm gonna come up here to send design. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna, on the left, you're gonna see two options. The first one is your print option. So we're gonna print the artwork. And the second one is gonna be our cutting contours. So on our first one, now is a good time to save. So I'm gonna go back to the design and I'm actually gonna save this file. 
So I want to save it real quick. Always a good idea to save your work as you go along. And then I'm gonna choose that send to design. And then I wanna make sure everything is set up properly. So you always wanna double check this, no matter what machine you're using. So I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I'm using a standard um, 12 by 12 mat. And I can see my registration marks are on my page. If you happen, I'm gonna give you an example here. The reason I had you click off, if I click on one object, and I go to send to design, you're gonna see that only one object is selected to print. So you wanna make sure to click off of it so nothing is selected, and then go back to your send design, and you should be able to see that. Now again, I'm working in an early version of the Leonardo Design Studio, which could possibly change in the future. And I hit something, I'm gonna hit undo, and I'm just gonna send these. I noticed it was off center. I was gonna try and move it. And I went back to design. We'll move this over a little bit. And then I'm gonna click send design. Again, I have one design selected or I have design selected. So click off of it to deselect everything. So when you go to send design, the whole page shows up. Now I'm going to choose send to printer. And then I'm gonna give my printer a little bit of time because it's in the other room and it's also on Wi-Fi, which means that it has to talk from my computer to my router, which is upstairs. And then it has to talk to my printer and send all that data. So if you're experiencing long print times, you may need to look at how your setup is. So where I'm recording in my studio is a, a distance from my printer. So we may see an error come up here, just the timeout type thing, um, but that's not Leonardo Design Studio, that's in how my printer system is set up. So I'm gonna choose send a printer. And I'm gonna get these options. I personally am just gonna check this to make sure that it's set for rear tray. And then I'm gonna hit okay and print. And then I'm gonna pop out here and I'm gonna hope that it, oh, now see, I got an error. That's just my printer. So let me double check here. I'm gonna go back to design, I just canceled it. Um, that is just my printer talking back and forth. Send design, everything is showing on the screen, so I'm gonna choose send to printer again, and I'm gonna choose print. Cross my fingers that my connections all line up, and I can hear my printer start. So I'm gonna go grab that, and ta-da! Here is my printed page. So you're gonna notice that there are four marks in the corners as we have it set up, and I have this little arrow in the bottom here. This is gonna be important. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to place it on the mat, but I'm gonna change my camera view so you can see this a little better. So what I'm gonna do is, if you watched my other videos in the setup and the loading of the mat, you're gonna know that Juliet cuts a little bit different. So wherever you place that blade housing is where she's going to cut. So I have my printed page here. I'm just gonna place it in the bottom left corner of my cutting mat. And I'm gonna try and place it straight on the page. Just to make it easier on her. So I have it in bottom corner. I have my roller lever unlocked in the back so I can slide my mat in and I'm going to line up the left edge with the line over here that the arrows point to and the front of my mat with the front of the machine so I can make sure that it's straight. And then I'm going to position the housing in this little bracket. So I'm going to position the blade inside that little bracket there. So what I'm going to do is push the button to load. position it there, and then I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit closer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the software so we can send this to print. So I'm going to choose this cutting contours, and that is going to be our cut options. Back on Juliet over here, I have my cut settings are set within the window. This is what I'm using just for now. So I created a new material and I set my 
um, speed and my force here and back in the Leonardo design space I have this little option here that says use cutter settings. This is just going to be a personal preference. It's just how I've been testing the machine. So it's completely up to you. Now what I'm going to do, these are the cut lines for my stickers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose send to cutter and we're going to go over and watch Juliet register. And then I'm going to click yes. And you're going to watch over here on this the camera shows up, so that camera is finding that registration mark, and then it's gonna move and find the next one. And it's hard to see, but in the video, there's a little uh, red crosshairs that finds the corner of that registration mark. Again, this is just a basic print and cut that I have set up. My stickers have a white border and she's zippy so she is set at 13 right now your material is going to de depend or the speed that you can cut with is dependent on your materials I'm just using 13 she's pretty quick there when you're cutting cardstock your sticky mat is going to make a difference if your mat is not sticky enough it cannot hold that cut in place while it cuts so especially if you're cutting something intricate you need to have all those pieces stuck down to your cutting mat so that cut can be complete. That's not, um, that's not specific to this Juliet cutting machine. That's with any cutting machine. If your mat's not sticky to hold cardstock, you may not get clean cuts. And then I'm just going to unload my cutting mat. And I'm going to pull it out. If you have this on your screen, you can just click the X to be done with your job. And there we have our stickers. So the best thing that you can do is you can test cut, test cut, test cut, practice and play around with the Juliet machine. That is print and cut with Caesar Juliet machine using the Leonardo Design Studio. If you watch my first introduction and the tour of Leonardo Design Studio, I give several um, tips or several things. It is a basic program to start. It cuts, it does print and cut. The factors that are really important are you. You are going to be the number one factor. Learning your machine, testing with it, testing your blade depth, you have a lot more control in this machine as it's designed more like a professional machine. So if you're coming from the craft cutter side of the world, you're going to hear me say this over and over because I, I know users are going to be frustrated coming from those craft cutters. It is different. It is great. It works. Um, you are going to have to learn how to do that. But here is just basic print and cut within the Leonardo Design Studio. The best thing you can do is test and practice, test and practice. You are going to be great at it if you do that. Hope this has helped to give you a little look into how to print and cut with Caesar Juliet. Again, this is just a basic print and cut video. Have a great day and thanks for joining me.